Hello world, I'm Rich, and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. It is about 93, 94 degrees out, and I decided to mow the lawn. Not my smartest move. I am dying right now. So, I'm parked down by the fire pit, sitting in the shade, trying to catch what little, there is no breeze, so I'm not catching a breeze. I'm doing a beer review. It's time for a nice beer. I have got Terra Incognita, ale aged in whiskey barrels, from our uh, friends at Boulevard Brewing in Kansas City and Sierra Nevada Brewing Company uh, out in California. I forget where Sierra Nevada, I suppose maybe it's Sierra Nevada, uh, California. So 8.5% uh, ABV, that's what you're looking for. Hopefully you're seeing that sitting in the shade. Um, Situated on opposite ends of the California Trail, Pioneer Breweries, Sierra Nevada, and Boulevard have embarked upon a journey into the unknown. Let's see, it's an earthy beer celebrating the unique ter terror, ter whatever, I can't read that word, uh, beginning with a grain bill of pale malt, amber malt, and both malted and unmalted wheat. It is assertively hopped with Bravo and Styrian Goldings, dry hopped with East Kent Goldings, and then barrel aged for nearly three months. Uh, let's see, best by September 2015. Whew, I'm hot. This is something, uh, it might get a 10 just by getting into the glass. A little bit of action, wow. Some real fruitiness coming off their uh, yeah, this is an active beer. Wow. I should have gotten something a little bit bigger, maybe. I'm going to be fighting through that. <laughs> it is an active head, and I did not pour. Check that out. I did not pour that aggressively. Oh, I'm sorry, but sweating, sweating on camera. This beer cannot get into me quick enough. Well... It's got about 18 fingers ahead, and it, it, we'll let it dissolve while I give it a sniff. I mean, just a beautiful rosy black, brownish color, uh, tan head. Yeah, it's, it's a raspberry, cherry, maltiness to it. I'm just pulling those fruity flavors out. It, it reminds me of a Belgian, like the uh, the Duchess uh, from Belgium where they're mixing two beers together. Just that real nice fruitiness that complements. Let me see if I can really pour slow and get something, get some beer going in there. We might have to fight through a little bit ahead here to, to uh, get to what we want. I hope it's uh, nice and warm where you are. I'm going to be, I'm sure, in uh, six months enjoying a sweater and some cold weather, thinking about sitting out here sweating my backside off, uh, enjoying this weather. Love nights by the fire pit. This is a little warm. Anyways, let's see if we can fight through this head and get down to the beer. Cheers, world. That is really nice. <laughs> Granted, it's a cold beer on a very hot day after I mow it. All those fruity flavors are there. At the very end, I'm getting the uh, the whiskey. Um, say, what was it? In whiskey barrels? Yeah, was, I'm getting the whiskey. Should have had a starter beer just to kind of cool myself down. It's really malty forward. A lot of malt. Sweet, 
And then there's that bitterness right after, and that's probably those, those dry hops. It does, it starts off sweet. Through the whole thing, there's this undercurrent of fruitiness that I'm getting. I mean, it is uh, the cherry and the uh, kind of strawberry that I was getting on the smell. But then there's those other fruits behind it that are more associated with the hops. Excuse me, there's orange, some grapefruit. There's a, lot, there's a lot of fruit going on in this, and this is a really nice beer. And there is a breeze. God bless you. There is a breeze. This is really a nice beer. Malt, that, that sweetness of the malt. And I'm pouring again to get a bunch ahead. Well. I need, I need a different glass for this. This was not the, the proper glass to be using. Um, this is really nice. Malty, fruity, hoppy, a real nice combination. Medium, um, medium mouthfeel. It is a, a sweet, not overly syrupy, but I'm going to say a syrupy finish on the tongue. Just coats your tongue. Really nice after flavor. Um, it, it, you think it's going to go bitter and then it comes with some fruitiness. This is really nice guys. Um, I think this is a limited release um, between the two breweries. Let me see if I can uh, set things down. I don't tip them over. Let's get all the information out there. See if you can get one. Uh, I'm not sure where Boulevard uh, distributes, but the Terra Incognita Ale Brewed Ale brewed, I'm sorry, ale aged in whiskey barrels, 8.5% ABV. Our friends down at Boulevard in Kansas City and Sierra Nevada from out in California. There's again what you're looking for, and there's what you get. It's, it's got some carbonation to it. It is packed, but I am going to sit and enjoy this. Gang, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. This is nice. This is really nice. Grab one. Uh, try it. Let me know what you think. Um, buy two of them. Try one. And then the next one, uh, go mow the lawn on a 93 degree day and try it again. See if your rating goes up. I'm giving it a solid 9 out of 10. Anyways, thanks for sweating along with me and uh, enjoying a, a very warm evening uh, in Minnesota. Cheers, world. Thanks.